In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this pretty realistic page flip animation. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel, and surprise, we won't use any effects for that. Excited? Let's go flip these pages. I've already created a comp with a background solid, a gradient ramp, okay, that's the only effect we'll use, and it is a 3D layer. Next, we'll create another new comp, name it front, set the size to 500 by 750 pixels which is like the size of one page. Let's add a solid, color white. We duplicate the comp and name the new one back. This will be the first and last page. Then we add the back comp to our main comp. And first of all, we move the anchor point to the center of the left edge. Hold Command or Control to make it snap. Then we open the position property and set the X value back to 960 pixels. We turn it into a 3D layer and set the set position to minus 0,1 to elevate it a tiny bit from the background. We duplicate the comp, then replace the top one with the front comp. We open the rotation property and flip it. We set the Y rotation to 180 degrees. This is the open magazine or book. Awesome! Now we need to add some turning pages. We duplicate the front comp in the project window and name it page 1 front. We open the comp, open the solid settings, and change the solid color to yellow. We duplicate that comp as well, name it page one back, open it, add, and change the solid color again into pink this time. You can add any type of content to these pages, of course. Let's go back into the main comp, duplicate the back comp there, move it to the top, and replace it with the front one page. We open the position property and change the set position slightly, minus 0,2, to position it above the back layer. Then we open the rotation property and add a Y rotation keyframe at the beginning. Then we set the value to 180 degrees at 2 seconds. We select both keyframes and open the graph editor to adjust the speed graph. We slow down the end and the beginning of the animation. Alright, the page is turning, it just doesn't look that great, right? Let's add a light to make it look more realistic. We go to Layer, New and add a light. We choose Point Light and we don't want to fall off, none. Casts Shadows, On. Then we position it, move it to the top left corner, 1300, 250, minus 800 is the set value. Alright, there's light and shadow but really harsh. So let's add a second light, an ambient light this time, which is way too bright. So we open the light options and reduce the intensity to 20%. This feels much more natural. Then we need to tell our layers to cast shadows. But before, we need to change our renderer. We click on the option here and change our renderer from classic 3D to cinema 4D. And that gives us new options. In Material Options, we turn everything on. Casts Shadows, Accepts Shadows. Which creates shadows. The shadow is too sharp though. To change that, we need to go back into the Point Light. In Light Options, we set Shadow Diffusion to 200 pixels. And that looks much more natural, I think. Let's quickly turn on the Casts Shadows option for the back and front page as well. Before moving on, let's take a quick moment and check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. In this course, you'll learn how to create motion graphics, especially for social media. Express yourself online by creating animated stickers and GIFs. The process involves illustration and animation, from concept and sketch to animation and after effects. And finally, just as important, publishing your GIFs. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. And even better, use the code MANUALDESMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. The thing is, we need to curve the pages. The great thing is, if we go into Geometry Options, there is a curvature property to do exactly that. First of all, we set segments to 10 to get a better quality, which takes longer to render, of course. We set curvature to minus 30% at the beginning, which curves the page slightly. It might take a while to render a preview, so if you want to just check the movement, click on Draft 3D, and it will be much faster. 
don't forget to add a keyframe. At 16 frames, it is minus 75%. At 20 frames, it is still minus 75. Then one frame later, it switches to 50%. Although, it's probably too early. Let's move it to 24 frames after it passed the middle and the keyframe before to 23 frames. That seems good. Let's move on to 28 frames. We set curvature to 85%. At 44 frames, we reduce it to 30% again. All right, the movement looks great, I think. Let's add the back. We duplicate the page one front layer and replace the bottom comb with the page one back layer and change the Y position to minus 0,3, which moves it above the front layer. So we need to move the start point to where it is visible for the first time, like here at 24 frames. Awesome, the first page turn. Let's quickly create some more pages here in the comp window. I use different colors for now. You could add any kind of content, of course, to fill these pages. Then it is like the same principle again. We duplicate the two page one comps, move them above, replace them by the two page two layers, front and back. Then change the set positions to minus 0,3 and minus 0,4. We offset them, let's say we move them to frame 9. And as soon as the first page is completely covered, we set the endpoint of the two page 1 comps at 41 frames. Let's duplicate the page 2 layers, move them to the top again. Replace them by the page 3 layers, front and back. This time we move them to 14 frames. Again we set the endpoint of the page 2 layers at 2 seconds, as soon as they are fully covered by the page 3 layers. So this is 3D animation inside of After Effects, and I'd say it looks pretty realistic. Once you've set the page flip up, you can use it for all kinds of content. You should check out the free project file and all the other links in the description. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell because you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye guys.